We will now plot the deformed shape from the nodal displacements. We click on Solution, then on Deformation from the bottom toolbar, select Total, and click Solve. So we can do a few things here. By clicking on this icon, we can show the undeformed wireframe. This is the outline of our body before deformation, as shown on this black line. We can also smooth out our contour lines for a more sexy look. We can show where the maximum and minimum displacements are located. We can also use the probe to determine the displacement at specific locations. We can export this window as a picture. And finally, we can animate our model. Note that ANSYS actually scaled up the deformation for us to see it. Due to the very stiff structural steel and the relatively low pressure, when we select true scale up here, we realize that our model's deformation is actually not very apparent. Okay, so now comes a very crucial step in the modeling process. To investigate if the body deforms as predicted, we choose to analyze deformation first because we humans tend to visualize and comprehend deformation better than stresses. We will first look at the top surface to see if it behaves as expected. Let's first zoom on that section by scrolling. We see that there is zero displacement in the axial direction. There's only displacement in the radial direction. This is exactly what we expect from the symmetry boundary condition. Let's zoom out a bit and take a look at the right edge. We apply the force on the inside surface of the pressure vessel, so we expect the body to deform in the positive axial direction. That works. Now if we look at the bottom section, we notice that the deformation is more pronounced, especially in the center of the end cap. Well, from intuition, we know that the hoop should be more strong than the end cap. The end cap also acts as a cantilevered beam, so this deformation seems to be reasonable. This is it for the analysis of the deformed shape. Let's now save our project.